Hi, this is Coach Todd from NoLimitsTrialFlineCoaching.com. I'm here to give you a brief tutorial on how to use training peaks. So the first thing you want to do is go to my website, NoLimitsTrialFlineCoaching.com. Click on the Training Peaks link. This will open up a new window where you're able to log into your account. So now what you see, you have a place to log in. You can put your username and your password. Once you've inputted those, go to the login button, press it, and this will take you to your Training Peaks account. Now, when you first see your Training Peaks account, you're going to see uh, a calendar view. So, right now I have two weeks showing. I have February 18th week and I have February 25th week. And throughout that, you can see the days of the week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way up to Sunday. And you can also see there's workouts for each day. And they're also color coded, so the red are in pink, the blue are in green, and the swim is in uh, blue. So when you first go into your Training Peaks account, they're all going to be one color, but you can go into your Options tab, and that then you can select a color coded option if you like. Okay, so another thing you can do too is if you go up to Show on Calendar, if you click on Week Summary, there's no Week Summary at all. So check that box back. And now if you look at the far right hand side, you can see the week summary. So you can see how many hours I have planned for you. Then you can see how many hours you've completed. So I've planned 4 hours 40 minutes and you've completed 30 minutes. So now, you, if you want to get rid of that, you don't want to see that, just check it and then it's gone. The other nice thing you can do too is you can have multiple weeks showing at a time. So right now I have two weeks. If you want to see more, you can go up and change it to four. And the maximum you can have on one screen at a time is six. For me, when I'm doing a lot of these at uh, the coaching work, I bring it up to two. I bring it down to two. So now let's go over a workout in detail. So let's go to Feb 19th, and we're going to open up this uh, run workout. So I just put my cursor over top and double click it. It's going to open up a small new window showing the workout. So up top, you have the title of the workout, which is an easy run. We have how many hours planned? So we have 30 minutes planned. We have 30 minutes completed. I've already done the workout. If we look at the description, we can see there's a warm up, there's a main set, and then there's a cool down. Now, if you take this slider bar on the right hand side and you slide it down, you can see where it says pre activity comments. So, this is where I'll put comments in here for you to think about what you're doing. It might have a focus and a goal or a reminder. Now, down below, there's an area for post activity comments. Now this is where I want you to put in your feelings, your heart rate, things like that after you've done the workout so that when I'm going and reviewing your workouts, I can see how that workout uh, was for you. Once you're done with this workout, then go save and close. Now a common question I get for a lot of people is, well how do I print these off? So these workouts will be emailed to you every day to your computer or to your phone, to your email address. So you can print it off from your email or you can print off the whole week if you like by going over to this print icon. Clicking on the print icon takes you to the print page. Now you can choose your date range. So you can start on the week of February 18th or you can change it if you like. So you can change it to which week you like. But for now we're going to leave it on February 18th. <clears throat> you can also show how many weeks you want to print. So you can have, right now there's two selected, but I don't need two to print off. Let's just go one. We'll select on one and go submit. And then you scroll down, now there's only one week. So what you see is a full detail for each workout of the day. Now if you don't want to see all that, you can go over to the workout uh, the box and you can click on description. That will remove the workout description. If you want to remove the header, you can do that. And so then now you have a very basic week. So if that's easier for you to see, then print off that. But if you like having the whole descriptions, click on descriptions and then click back the header. And then go over to the print button, press print, and you have the workouts for the week. Okay, so we're done with that. Now let's go back to your calendar. Now once you've completed a workout, what do you do then? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. Let's pretend we did a run on Thursday, February 21st. So let's open up the workout. 
So there was 30 minutes planned and I did an excellent job. I got my 30 minutes in. So I'm going to type in 30 right there and then enter. And then how far did I go? In 30 minutes I did 5 kilometers. <clears throat> I'm going to scroll down here. I look at the pre-activity comments. Did I do all this? Uh, yes, I did. So I'm going to, <clears throat> in the post-activity comments, I'm going to write workout went well. Heart rate was in correct range. Great data run. You can put here lots of different things. You can put in your heart rate. Uh, how you felt, uh, things like that. Uh, so I like this box a lot. So I, I do come in here and check and see what you put on. So then go save and close. So that's one way to do that. The other way, if you have a watch that has measures uh, your pace and distance and is GPS enabled, uh, a cool thing you can do here is you go over, let's pretend we did it on February 23rd. So let's open that up. What you need to do here is you go over to upload device file and there's two things you can do. If you save your data to your computer, then you'd have to browse to find that file. So you click here, browse to upload device file. Then you'd go through your folders, and then you'd have to try and find out where that file is, and then you upload it. Alternatively, you can use a new, another program designed by Training Peak called Device Agent. And if you click on this link, it will take you to more information about that. So device agent is a program that will allow many watches to and computer by computers to upload the information from the watch to the computer and then into your trading peaks account so that I can so I you can see it and so I can review it as well. So there's two options you can have. You can have a PC or a Mac, download the one that works for you, and then I'll show you an example of how it works. So once you have device agent downloaded once you have device agent on your computer, then you just open it up. So I'm going to show you how it works on my computer. I'm going to open up device agent. My username for my account is up here. The device that I'm using is my Timex Global Trainer. You can select the watch that is appropriate for you. And then you just go download. So my watch right now is connected to my computer through a cable and my watch is in the correct mode to sync it to Training Peaks. So mine has been a program called PC Sync, which it is, and now I'm downloading 10 workouts. So now once you see this view here, you might have you know 10 workouts, but you don't want to save them all. So you can use the checkbox over here to check the ones you want and the ones you don't want. Another nice thing about this program too is say if my watch is in a swim mode but I know that wasn't a swim I can change this so that it would be it was actually a run or a bike. So as simple as that. So once you have all the workouts checked that you want to save, you have it you have the name of the sport correct, then you can go save. And what it does it's going to log yourself into Training Peaks and it's going to upload your workouts right to your account. So this is a great way for you to keep track of what you've been doing and it's a great way for me so that I can go into your account and see what you've been doing as well. So I encourage everyone to try and upload their data as much as they can. So now the workouts are uploaded. Now let's go back, close without saving. For now, yes. So now let's go back to the to the calendar view and see if there's any workouts that got uploaded. So one workout that was uploaded was on Tuesday, February 19th. Now I made uh, the weeks up here so there's only one week available. And so now I can see down here there's the run, 59 minutes. So I'm going to open that up. It opens up a little window and you can see now if I click on map and graph it's going to take me to another window which is going to show me the details of my workout. So I have a split screen view selected up here. 
So that is a, a split screen. Here would be just be one view. I like having two. So on the upper section, I have the map. So I can see where I started my run, and then where I finished my run. Now on the second part of the screen, I can see the graph part. So I can see in the green, that's elevation, and blue is, in my, is my pace. Now I don't have any heart rate detail because I wasn't wearing a heart rate monitor or strap. But if I did, then you'd have another uh, squiggly line here that would be in red that would indicate your heart rate. Now if you go over to your side, you can see your lap detail. And then scroll down, you can see your entire workout detail. So you can see how long you ran, you can see how far you went. You can see your minimum, average, maximum speed, pace, elevation, and heart rate if it was there. Now this is a, a basic Training Peaks account, so I can't do any more data analysis than that. So if I click on it, it says I need to upgrade. So if you want to upgrade, then you can use this. You can upgrade or just use the data here. This data is okay as well. So once you're done looking at your data, then you'd close and then go back to your Training Peaks account. Now, a question I get from a lot of people is, what if I do an extra run? So let's just go to a clear week. So let's go back. Let's go to the February 11th week. So I have nothing done here. So let's say on February 12th, we did a workout. So can you see this plus button here? So when I click on the plus button, that gives me an option to select what kind of a workout did I do. So I did a run workout. I'm going to select run. The title, I'm just going to go easy. The duration, I went for 30 minutes. The description, you can put what you like here. So you can put things like run along river. Put in your distance if you didn't upload the data and then go save and close. And then right away your run is added. Another question people ask me is how can I add meals to my calendar as well? So it's the same idea. Let's go to Wednesday. Let's click on the plus button as well. Now you see down here you have the option to put in your meals. So you can put in your breakfast, brunch, lunch. So for example, let's do a breakfast. Click on the breakfast tab. And now we're going to put in your title. So I'm going to call it cereal. So what did I eat? Let's go Cheerios with juice and toast. How many calories? I don't know. That's, that's a... I don't know, 450. I mean, carbohydrates, maybe 350. These are just numbers I'm just picking out of the air. So if you want to be more detailed, you can do that. So now that I've got that breakfast uh, details typed in there, and I'll just go save and close. I go back to my calendar, and you can see I have my cereal, so I mean my breakfast. And you can do the same things with your lunch and dinner as well. So then you'll be able to track that. So now if we go up to show on calendar, we go to week summary. Again, you can see... Uh, you've completed 30 minutes. Now, if you don't want to see your meals, you can click up here and you can remove your meals. If you only want to see your meals, remove the workouts, you can do so as well. So now, let's go today. Oh, a nice, I think I mentioned, didn't I? A nice thing, if you if you start playing around with the training peaks and you, you get lost, you go, well, where am I? Go up here to today, click on today, and that will take you to today, believe it or not. And then you can see the workouts that you'll be working on. And then after you've printed everything off, after you know what you're going to be doing, then you're done and just log out. So I hope this was a good tutorial for you. And if you have any questions at all, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, email me. Thanks and happy training.